man has been living on this planet for eons and eons. And it's a pretty swell place to live because it's got lots of air and water and dirt. And with all that air and water and dirt floating around, it also tends to breed lots of plants. Plants like the grass in your front yard. You know, the grass that keeps growing and growing and growing until it eventually sprouts weeds and little talking mushroom thingies that take over your yard and threaten your very existence. Sure, it can be a little scary, but most of the time, it's just frustrating. I mean, you've got enough to worry about without having to contemplate how on earth you're going to knock down the army of weeds that's constantly rising up against your home and family. And sure, you've got a loving and supportive spouse that gives you gentle words of encouragement from time to time to help deal with the onslaught of fescue soldiers, but sometimes it just stresses you out. You ever feel like that? I guess one day someone had the courage and mental fortitude to undertake the task of finding an easier way to cut the grass, and thus began the evolution of the lawnmower. Okay, let's face it, the first implements were primitive at best, but soon technology gave way to some pretty high-tech machines, but they cost a ton of money, and are you really going to know how to fix them when they break down? There's got to be an easier, more efficient way to take care of your lawn. I mean, come on guys, it's the 21st century, and there's a computer around every corner. Matter of fact, you've probably got one built in your cell phone right now. Wait a minute, what if you could use your cell phone to take care of your lawn problems? Now we're talking.